Thank you for volunteering to be a camp chaperone. We appreciate your commitment to outdoor education and to our school. Without you, we would not be able to provide this experience to our students. Since camp is a school-sponsored event, all rules and expectations of Seattle Public Schools are required to be followed. Let's begin by going over our expectations. If you are driving students, we expect you to follow all laws and safety expectations. Students are required to be in seat belts and appropriate booster seats. Unless a student is 13 years old, the adult volunteer driver must follow state law and students may not ride in the front seat. If the adult volunteer driver receives a traffic violation, such as a speeding ticket, the school principal will review the incident and may bar the volunteer from driving students in the future. As an overnight chaperone, you will be on call 24 hours a day. Because of this, there are certain activities you may not participate in. We require that all volunteers not drink any alcohol, use any marijuana or marijuana products during the entire trip. This includes while you're in your tent or unsupervised by the teacher. If you are not able to follow this rule, we ask that you not volunteer. In addition, all camp chaperones must be able to respond to an emergency situation. If you are on a medication that alters your ability to respond, we ask that you not volunteer. If you are a volunteer who smokes cigarettes, we require that you do not smoke in the presence of students or in the car while you transport students. No volunteers may be in the possession of guns, loaded or unloaded, or weapons while transporting students or while camping. Guns may not be in any vehicle transporting students. While volunteering for camp, there are also behavior expectations that must be met. Several days of camping can be very trying and tiring. However, we ask that you continue to be a role model for our students. If you have a dispute with another adult, we ask that you keep it respectful and that you may not argue in front of students. Please talk with the supervising teacher if you need assistance. Student behavior can also be an issue. While we expect you to correct small behaviors and intervene to keep camp a safe and happy place for all, we understand it's not your job to discipline students. If a student is having repeated issues such as talking back to a volunteer or is bothering others, we ask that you talk with the supervising teacher. The teacher will provide the corrective action and help you navigate how to move forward with the student. While a camp volunteer, you'll have many duties assigned by the teacher. Duties that involve cabins, tents, or bathrooms must be done in pairs. This means if you are checking on a student who is still in his cabin, you should go with another parent. Also, you may not go into a cabin, tent, or bathroom of the opposite gender. This helps to keep students and adult volunteers safe. Last, since this is a school-sponsored event, there should not be any dating-like behavior. Students may not enter the cabin, tent, or bathroom of the opposite gender. Students should be supervised at all times, including at least one scheduled night check, and should always know that you are there to support and model appropriate behavior. Remember, outdoor education and camping is a privilege that we value. In order for our school to continue this program, all volunteers must follow all of our rules and expectations. Thank you for your time and your dedication to our school.